Welcome to Electron Online. Sometimes they're asking us to find the determinant of a fairly large matrix, like this one here, matrix A, which is a 4x4 four four matrix. But then sometimes we're also lucky that there's a lot of zeros in there, and you can see how it can vastly reduce the effort to find the determinant of this matrix. For example, if we take the top row, we have three zeros and only one of the four elements that has an actual number in it. In other words, we can ignore the other three right there. And then if we go to the second row, also notice that we have lots of zeros here. That means we can ignore all that, and the reduction becomes fairly easy. This can then be written as follows. The determinant of A can then be written, we can take the single element right here, negative 2, multiply it times the determinant of this matrix right here. Right, so that's times the determinant of the matrix 4, 0, 9, 0, 2. But since these are zeros, that means that this can now be written to be negative 2 times 4. And then we can cross out this row and this column. And now we have this matrix right here, which is the matrix 5, 0, and 2, which essentially can be written as negative 8 times 5 times 2 minus 3 times 0, and so we get minus 8 times 10, or minus 80, and that would be the determinant of that matrix. Now we're going to do this again, but now we're going to take this column right here. With a 4 by 4 we have to be careful about the signs. Notice that the upper left corner is a plus, and it alternates signs. This is a minus, a plus, a minus. When we go around the corner, this is a plus, a minus, and a plus. So when we then take this element right here, we can say that the determinant of the matrix A is equal to negative times 3. And now when we take that, we have this, these nine elements remaining to give us a 3 by 3 matrix. So we have a minus 2, 0, 0, zero a 1, and we have the 2, one, 9, and 0. And then we take this one right here, so it would be plus 2 times the matrix. If we cross out this row and this column, we have those nine elements left. So minus 2, 0, 0, and minus one, 5, 6, and 5. And that should give us the same result as we had before. Now here, notice that this entire column is all zeros. If we have entire column all zeros, this whole matrix goes to zero, or this whole determinant, I should say, goes to zero. So this becomes zero plus two times. Now notice that these are all zeros, so we only have to take this element and those four elements there. So that's plus two times a minus two times the determinant four, zero, six, and five, which is equal to minus four times four times five, which is 20 minus zero or minus 80. So you can see that no matter which way you attack this matrix, you can find the determinant fairly easily by looking for a row or a column that has a lot of zeros in it so that you can ignore many of the minor portions of the matrix. So you can see that here's two ways in which you can get the very same result, the determinant of A. And that's how it's done.